Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we are going to do a showcase on this Halloween uh, Angel Debura card, right? So, um, it's kind of crazy because this guy really struggles for linking partners, and you would think that, like, since his name is Debura Angel, he would link really good with other Deboras, but he does not. Um, and uh, largely because he's a super class unit, so he's missing some of those extreme class links. A very kind of weird wonky unit, so we're going to see how he's kind of looking in this video here, right? Now keep in mind that he just dropped for Halloween, but he has not easy aid yet. So we'll look at how he looks now, but keep in mind he does have an easy aid coming probably next year. Um, so we'll we'll kind of keep that in mind as we go through here. So um, he has an Otherworld Warriors lead, just a really small leader skill. He'll be 77% after his easy aid. Super attack effect is raises attack for one turn and does supreme damage, but he does have a unit super attack. So as long as you have a Pycon on the team, he raises attack and defense for one turn. Does supreme damage and lowers attack. Okay, now lowering attack is going to be significant um, for his passive. Uh, so his passive is attack and defense 104. And then an additional attack and defense 10% per super class ally on the team. So you want to use this guy on full super teams if you can. And then super class allies 2 key in attack and defense 30%. So this is why I have hope for this unit. Um, they have very wonky links, right? They, their teams are kind of limited. But the fact that they are just a generic super class support does give me hope because they could easy aim be three key attack and defense 40 they up the numbers like this guy could be viable right and we'll see how he's looking right now plus an additional defense 104 when the enemy is an attack down or defense down so that's really important for defensively that you want to have them debuffed right um plus an additional attack 104 when the target enemy is an attack down and defense down status uh, recovers 10% at the end of turn, recovers HP with candy. So, it, this guy's going to be tough to showcase. Because <laughs> we need to get them attack and defense down um, to get the full attack. But we can get the defense for just having one of them. So, we'll just keep in mind. And this is a, like basically all level 1 links, right? No equips on or anything like that. So, a pretty bare bones version of Debura. Now, we've got a pretty good rotation here, uh, turn 1. The funny thing is, is his best, one of his better linking partners... Is this Hercule and Boo after exchange? So I'm going to try to get them five hits and get them exchanged. They are a Boo Saga support, uh, which is nice. So this Debura here is getting double supported. We've got three links active because we are floating with the Pike on. Uh, so let's kind of see. And I want to make sure I have orbs available for Pike on there on the end. Because Pike on, I believe, needs at least three type orbs to get his support passive, which we're going to get right here. So Debura is at 113k defense. Now, Hercule and Boo is going to attack down this Goku. So he is going to get another 104% defense. So that's going to put him like over 200k. Pycon here is going to add some more defense here with his support passive that we can't see. And he also raises defense on super. So with all that in mind, his defense is probably going to be okay. Still not like the craziest thing in the world though, right? And I think this Dobura is going to be a floating support unit. Okay, so 1.4 mil. Interesting, the unit super attack with Pycon. Such a weird unit. We did attack down him right there. Um, so them having their own attack down is actually significant um, because it means that after supering, they're going to be attacked down, which will raise their defense. So like as long as they're not in slot one, they're for sure going to get that 104. The bad part about this unit, um, relying so heavily on the attack down, defense down, is a lot of tough bosses disable that. And you're going to see that I'm running the regular legendary Goku event here. Um... Because I think in the early phases, we can attack and uh, defense down him. But like when we get near the end, I think he's going to block out almost all of it. We might be able to defense down the whole way through. Uh, but attack down, I don't know. And I don't, don't know if I actually brought any defense down units. But I did bring a Nurse Chi-Chi, which I, uh, will lower their attack and defense for me, right? Alright, so right here. So here's what I'm going to... Okay, so Goku is already defense down. So we are going to get the attack buff on this turn for being attack and defense lowered. So this is good. And then uh, Boo uh, and Hercule here, they should take their fifth hit because I think they took three hits on the first one. Uh, defensively here, 130k defense. And actually, that is with him being defense down. So I don't know if that tr that's got to be triggering on super. That can't be his full defense even with that passive. Let me just double check here because he's getting 104 there. When the target enemy is an attack down. Oh, I wonder if I have to target the enemy first. So let me actually like trigger my attack here and then see if it goes up. Because he isn't defense down. Did his defense go up after targeting? 
did not. I feel like that's going to trigger on super. So I, I definitely think that he's still got that defense coming. Once again, I've said this in like a million videos. I just wish, like I wish Dokkan didn't make it so hard. Like I don't want to have to math this all out. Just tell me what the defense stat is midturn. Please, I want that. I want that as a UI update. Quality of life. Show us the defense midturn. Would love to see it. But let's see. His attack should look pretty good here because we should have attack and defense down, which we need both of those to get the attack up. And so now here, this should be adding on the attack down. Yep. Okay, and then another attack here, which is fine. Okay, and then we should be going to Boo next turn. Okay, and then we should have attack and defense down. Yeah, 2.76. Still not crazy. Uh, once again, he hasn't easy a yet, but you'd never like a unit on release saying, well, I can't wait for their easy a Because here's this, like, super old TN unit out damaging him, right? I, granted, the TN is summonable, but still... Yeah, I'm not really seeing a lot of use for this Deborah. Like, really, you're only going to find use for him on a super limited team like maybe Otherworld Warriors, right? But who's running Otherworld Warriors? You're only going to use it for very specific quests that require it. So, sure, if I'm running a quest that requires Otherworld Warriors, I might find a spot for this guy as a floating support unit. But I'm definitely not going to worry about getting his unit super attack. Although, if you're running Otherworld Warriors, I think this AGL Pycon probably is going to make the cut. So, you would get his unit super attack there. Um... But, I, I don't know, the, the fact that he needs the attack down, defense down, I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, here comes the, the Hercule Boo transformation. This maybe is the first time I've actually watched this, like, on my own account. Like, I never use this unit. But here comes Boo. So we've got some links now. Now the question is, is can this guy still be debuffed? That's going to be the question here. Uh, let's take a look at this Goku. Yes, he, he can still be debuffed, and he's already got defense down. And I believe, does this guy attack down? Uh, yes, he does attack down still, and I believe he's still supporting, yeah. And then if there's a Hercular Goku, this guy guards, that's interesting. What's his defense? 272, wow! This Transform Boo is actually solid, I like never use him. Um, but guaranteed guard, I mean you have to be running the right team build, which we're not here, we don't have a Hercular Goku with him. I don't know, maybe Int Hercule gets an easy aim. We might be talking like a, a super defensive rotation at some point. But dude, yeah, this Dabura, I mean, 128k starter turn defense. Not too impressed. Once again, I think he will get that extra 104 defense here. But that's still, even with that, that's not that good. And the enemy has to be, you know, debuffed, which you're not going to be able to do in like harder content, right? So I think the way we simply put it, that this is just not a red zone unit, right? We'll just, we'll just throw that out there. Um, I think if you're running like an Otherworld Warriors uh, Super Battle Road, I think that's really the main place you're going to run this guy. And there, the attack and defense down is going to... Well, the attack down mainly is going to be very effective, right? Uh, this boo is still only 1.89 mil. But we are getting more... Alright, 3.27. So, really dressing this guy up. That's the best we can get him is 3.2 mil. I mean, it's okay. And once again, I, I, I would love to be able to see that defense that I just don't like that they rely on the attack down, defense down. That's just a bummer because there's so many units that negate that, right? Um, so anyways, guys, I think we'll stop there. We're not really going to see much else from this unit. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this Angel Debura. He's an okay floating option on some limited teams, but otherwise I'm not really using him that much personally. So you can let me know what you all think. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you all on the next one.